Hi everyone, it's David from Automotive Press. As you guys know, I absolutely love trucks, especially full-size trucks. So I'm really happy to be driving the new Chevy Silverado EV. So this is a full electric truck, not related to the normal Silverado, which is body on the frame. This one is on its own dedicated platform called the General Motors Altium platform, which is actually shared with the Hummer platform as well. So in some way, you're getting a bit of a bargain in a sense that you have a lot of the features and components of the Hummer in this EV, but obviously it's quite a bit cheaper. In any case, people are asking, is it really worth buying an EV truck versus a gasoline truck? And part of that reason is because there's so much pushback against EVs lately, with more and more people getting frustrated with the lack of infrastructure or poor range or combination of the above. So many people are moving toward hybrids or plug-in hybrids, and therefore it's becoming a little bit more difficult to buy into EV world. Having said all that, there are also many advantages in buying a fully electric truck compared to a normal gasoline powered truck. And I want to highlight those so that you can decide whether EV truck makes sense for you or you still want to buy a normal gas powered or diesel powered or hybrid type trucks. And obviously only you can decide what makes sense for you. So let me actually give you seven reasons why there are advantages in buying an EV truck versus a gasoline powered one. And then you can decide what makes sense for you. Let's go. Welcome back. So a couple of things to keep in mind. First of all, this is built in a dedicated factory within General Motors called the Zero Factory, which is located in Detroit. And it is all new platform based on the General Motors Altium platform. And therefore you get a lot of advantages as a full EV truck versus a normal truck. Now I have to admit, there are still many challenges in terms of owning an EV because of things like infrastructure and the range. But I think this might be the best iteration of a truck-based EV vehicle that actually could work for those people who are considering buying a normal gasoline-powered truck. And you know me, I love trucks and I really like gasoline-powered trucks, but I was taken back by how practical, how functional, and how good to drive this EV was during my week here. And so, you know what, I'm gonna have to say that for the first time, I actually want to recommend this versus some of the gasoline-powered trucks. And why? Well, I'm gonna give you seven reasons why. The first reason is that the so-called range anxiety is kind of gone with this particular Silverado EV truck because you get a whopping 450 miles or 724 kilometers of range. That is a lot even compared to normal gasoline powered uh, trucks. So I don't think you have to worry as much. It has the best range of any EV trucks that I know or any EV SUVs for that matter. You shouldn't have too much problem trying to make this work, even if you're coming from a normal gasoline powered truck. So I think the range is really amazing. That helps a lot. It's got a huge battery underneath. That's about 50% bigger than what you might find in a normal EVs. And that makes a huge difference for those of us who are worried about range and running out of electricity on the way. Um, I think this one was fine. The second point is an interesting one because it's to do with the performance. Normally, if you have a V8 power truck, you might think, hey, I've got lots of power and torque. It should be fun to drive and so forth. But well, none of the gasoline powered trucks can ever compete with an EV based truck because acceleration is absolutely ridiculous. This one goes from zero to 60 or roughly 100 km per hour in just four and a half seconds, 4.5 seconds, which is almost like a sports car territory. Yet this is a full side truck with 233 inches of length, yet you're still getting a ridiculously fast zero to 60 times. And it's very noticeable because with electric cars, there's a, you know almost unlimited amount of uh, torque right off the bat. So you step on the accelerator and the thing takes off with so much power and torque. So if you enjoy driving fast vehicles, but you never quite got that kind of acceleration from a gasoline powered truck, well, you get a big advantage by moving to Silverado EV. The third advantage of buying an EV truck is obvious, and that is the fact that you don't use gas. Now, in most full-size trucks, such as the Silverado or Ford F-150 or Ram truck, you often have a choice of buying gas or diesel. And if you do buy a diesel, it is actually quite uh, fuel efficient, but obviously nothing can compete with a full EV truck because you're not gonna use any gas at all. And even though with the EVs, it's not quite as simple as filling up a gas and moving along, you actually get pretty good range in a very short amount of time. Using a DC fast charger, you can actually get up to 160 kilometers of range from just 10 minutes. So not quite as convenient as filling up a gasoline powered car, but 
if you can get 160 kilometers in 10 minutes, that's pretty good. And I think that almost negates some of the range anxiety that we have. So the fact that you don't use any gas, especially if you compare to a kind of gas heavy uh, V8 powered trucks, well, you save money there. Just like other GM trucks, I do really like the fact that uh, the tailgate section is very multifunctional. You have a multi-purpose tailgate here where you can actually open this up further so you can climbing easier. But more than that, there's one advantage of this particular EV truck compared to a gasoline powered counterpart, and that is the sheer size of the loading area. You actually get five feet, 11 inches of the bed area here, which is almost six foot. But if you open what we call the mid gate, which is a section that's dividing the pickup area from the interior cabin, if you actually fold down that seat, you get 10 feet, 10 inches of space from here all the way to the back of the front seat. That is something that you cannot get in a normal truck because in normal trucks, the mid gate doesn't open and therefore you just cannot get this kind of uh, cargo capacity. And also the mid gate opens two ways. Either you can just open the lower portion and that will allow you to slide many things uh, into the cabin, but you can also remove the glass that's on the back there and completely open the back, allowing you to put something much larger and take the full 10 feet space so that's a huge advantage because no other normal trucks gasoline powered or otherwise offer that kind of flexibility and capacity and that could come really handy when you need to put kayak or something else in the back now as you guys know in a normal full-size trucks you can store things in the pickup bed especially if you have a hard tunnel cover then it's also secure but it is not waterproof and of course the water can seep into the pickup bed area and so i often struggled when i owned the truck that can't put something in there that shouldn't get wet. But in the EV truck like this one, well, you get a frunk or front trunk. And in the case of the Silverado EV, you get 10.7 cubic feet. So that's almost as big as a normal trunk in a sedan, let's say. So it's actually very usable, also pretty good height. So you can put, put luggage and so forth if you're traveling. And this is one advantage because it's secure. Obviously it has the normal trunk-like uh, liner here so it is waterproof and so forth and that makes a huge difference because you finally have a secure uh, waterproof place to store something and that is something that you don't get in a normal gasoline power truck for that matter most trucks don't have that unless you buy a unitized body truck like a honda ridgeline where they have a storage in the back as well but otherwise you don't get it so i think that's one advantage this particular front section also is quite practical in the sense that this one has a drain hole so you can put something uh, wet in here and let the water drain. And once again, like I said, this is quite big and this thing is powered as well. Uh, so that is a one huge advantage of having an EV versus non-EV truck. And of course, in addition to the front, you get lots of space in the back, not just in terms of legroom and headroom, but this thing also opens up. So you can store something here. And this is where the mid gate actually opens. So if I fold this down, then I can open the mid gate here. And now I have a passageway from here all the way to the pickup bed. So that's actually a huge advantage because once again, you don't get this. We used to have this in old Chevy truck called Avalanche. We had a mid gate that opened, but since that time, we haven't had this. And there is a window here, which I'm not going to remove right now. But if I fold down that side of the seat as well, I can actually remove this window and this entire section can be open if you really need to put something large from the back all the way to here. So again, this is a big advantage in terms of having this EV truck versus a normal one. Okay, so now I'm driving the truck on the road and this is where I think GM products tend to shine when it comes to trucks. They really know how to design something with a solid feel, a good heft steering feel, and just generally speaking, a very pleasant drive. So for example, even if you're talking about the gasoline powered Silverado, it is better than Ford F-150 or Ram trucks in terms of handling, in terms of ride, suspension, calibration, and so forth. And the same kind of thing applies to this one here, even though it doesn't share any platform with the gasoline powered counterpart, you have a pretty solid feel. The steering can be adjusted to give you a little bit more of a heavier feel as well. So I do have it in the kind of sporty mode. Uh, but the steering feedback from the road is excellent. It feels almost like a hydraulic power steering, which isn't the case, obviously. But um, you get a good feedback on the road. You have a good sense of where, where the trucks are pointed. And even though this thing is huge, it feels pretty agile. 
And part of that is to do with the fact that uh, there's a huge battery pack underneath the truck and that stabilizes the vehicle because center of gravity is much lower as a result. So when you're going through corners, even some twisty roads, uh, this thing is surprisingly stable and corners really well, especially for a big truck. So in terms of the handling, the steering feel, the cornering is definitely above average and in many cases better than the gasoline powered trucks because of the fact that there's lower center of gravity and also they've engineered and calibrated the steering mechanism and suspension mechanism to a high standard. I think it has an air suspension as well and therefore the ride is super smooth and refined. And even though this truck has 24 inch wheels and tires which are really huge, the ride is absolutely refined and smooth. So overall, in terms of driving character, this thing is just first class. The seventh and the last point is the fact that you get 11 outlets with all kinds of power capability, up to 10 point kilowatts in total. So you can see all the power outlets right here, up to 2400 watts in some cases. You can actually power a house in the case of blackout situation. You can even charge another EV in a pinch if you have to using this method. So there's lots of power capability that you just don't get in a gasoline power truck as well. So hopefully those seven key points were helpful. Let me do a quick quality check as well because this is an all new vehicle on an all new platform uh, built in Detroit. I'm curious what the quality might be. And even though the gap is actually not too bad at 3.5 millimeter, I do have to admit being a first year production the quality is not quite up to my expectation because I see some misalignment. It's much wider here, for example, compared to here. And generally speaking, the gaps are acceptable, but not great. About three, four millimeter there. It's about four millimeter all the way through. And in general, just the panel fit and finish is uh, okay and maybe acceptable, but could be improved. And I'm sure that it will improve after the first year of production because you typically speaking, these are things that uh, do get kaizen, which is a Japanese word for process improvement. Uh, but the paint job is actually really good. There is some orange peel, but the quality of paint and also the uh, clear coat looks really fantastic. Just the body fit, body alignment, not so great. And I did notice some squeaks and rattles when I'm driving just a little bit, but there is some. So I'm really hoping that GM will ramp up the quality control on the Silverado EV and make it better and better and it should be able to do that over the next year or two. But until then, I have some concerns about the exterior quality and the interior quality, um, but I'm hoping that those things will go away as they ramp up the production. So what do I really think of the Silverado EV? Well, as an EV truck, there are many advantages versus the gasoline powered truck, especially because the Silverado EV comes with some unique features, such as a really large front and some innovative mid-gate options in the back for loading many different things. So there are many advantages. I pointed out seven things, but also keep in mind that it has up to 754 horsepower and up to 785 pound foot of torque. Absolutely ridiculous amount of power and torque. They just cannot get in a normal full size trucks from General Motors as well. So you do get a performance to go with that. I even like the way that it drives, as I mentioned earlier, the steering feels hefty, it corners well because of the stability of the battery pack in the lower part of the vehicle. And so if you really think about it, especially from an engineering perspective, there are many advantages of buying an EV truck like the Silverado EV compared to a normal full-size trucks from Chevrolet. So I think those are things you can think about. I think we're finally getting to the point where you could begin to let go of some of the concerns over infrastructure and range anxiety and enjoy these full-size trucks for what they're meant to be, which is a practical cargo mover, people mover, and doing so without any sacrifices in performance. In fact, doing so with even better performance than normal trucks. So I hope this video was helpful and you might want to consider buying a Silverado EV versus a normal Silverado. If you're in the market for full-size trucks, you can get different range of models as well. This one is the top of line RST with 24 inch wheels and tires, which is shockingly big. Uh, and there are many interesting luxury features that this RST has, even including things like the four wheel steering that you get in a much more expensive Hummer. So let me know in the comments below if you like something like this. And if you have questions, you can also ask in the comments section. If you haven't done so yet, could you please give me a thumbs up if you liked the video. And if you haven't subscribed, I would appreciate if you can subscribe as well. Until next video, I'm signing off for now. Thank you so much.